Yo, what's up, YouTube? Today, my assistant and I will be talking about batch processing with Adobe Audition. Instead of spending lots of time doing tedious and repetitive tasks, utilize batch processing so you can spend more time doing things you love, like playing with your cat. Let's get to it. So now we're in Adobe Audition. We're going to start off by going to Window, Batch Process. And this little window right here is where we're going to work from. So we're going to drag and drop our media files from Finder right into here. Now that that's all inside, we can go to Export Settings. Today we're going to be formatting files at 16K at 16-bit. To do that, we're going to first start off. You have a couple boxes right here. You check this, it's the same as the source file location, and overwrite existing files. You want to prevent overwriting existing files and instead save them into a new audio folder. So for this particular demonstration, we're going to save these as 16K files. Now we set our format to WAVE PCM. We can change the sample rate, so I have it to 16K, mono at 16-bit. If you have an audio file that you're trying to remove metadata from, make sure this box is unclicked. Now that we have everything set, we're going to select OK and run. And batch process completed in 2.35 seconds. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. And then now we go into Finder, and here are our audio files at 16K. Perfect. Now let's say we want to normalize our audio files while also making them 16K. We select favorite right here and we can go to normalize to negative 3 dB. We go to our export settings making sure everything's the same. Select OK and run. Now all of our files are being normalized to negative 3 dB and formatting them for 16K. Now let's do something a little bit more difficult. In the beginning of all these audio files, I want half a second of silence and to normalize a negative 6.5 dB. In order to do this, we need to create a macro. So we'll go to Favorites, Start Recording Favorite. Now we want to add half a second of silence and then normalize the audio file to negative 6.5 dB. Now we go to Favorites, Stop Recording Favorite, and we'll name this 0.5 Silence plus negative 6.5 dB Normalize. Now we go to Favorite, select the favorite we just made, go to Export Settings, making sure that it's at 16K at 16-bit. Select OK, and then now we run. Now when you go through the files, you'll notice that there is half a second of silence, and it has been normalized to negative 6.5 dB. Thanks for checking out this video. I hope you're able to spend the time you saved utilizing batch processing into something meaningful to you. As always, if you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section. Feel free to subscribe for additional content, and I'll catch you in the next one.